Good morning, ESM. Today is Tuesday, November 10th, and it is a day three. The FDA is experiencing with a new anti antibody drug. Let's hear about more of that. <laughs> Can we start over? <laughs> to suffer under the grip of COVID-19 cases that top over 10 million. The FDA approved Monday emergency use of the first experimental antibody drug for COVID-19. The administration of this drug is allowed for patients who are not currently hospitalized, but are, however, at risk of serious illness due to their age or other conditions. The authorization by the FDA granted emergency use authorization of the drug Bamlanvimab, Bamlanvimab, created by Ellie Lilly and co. based upon trial data that showed a one-time infusion of the treatment that decreased the need for high-risk patients to be hospitalized or sent to the emergency room. The hope is through the use of this treatment, some relief will be given to an overstressed healthcare system. It has also been discovered that one-fifth of patients diagnosed with COVID have also been diagnosed with psychiatric disorder within 90 days. This can include anxiety or depression. People diagnosed with COVID-19 are reportedly at a higher risk of psychiatric disorder. However, to confirm just how much, much more time for research is needed. Yesterday, U.S. Governor Andrew Cuomo announced that parts of Onondaga County will now follow New York's yellow zone coronavirus rules. Although there will be new limits on gatherings and activities, soon there will be more detailed maps and zones of the areas that are affected. However, it is determined by Dr. Desiato that ESM is in the yellow zone. Accordingly, in a letter sent to parents yesterday evening, she stated, our new restrictions for us include 25 people maximum in a gathering, 50% capacity at houses of worship, four people at a table in restaurants, and bars and restaurants must close at midnight, and schools must test 20% of their population. In addition to these new rules, the state of New York will send testing help to the new areas in the yellow zone. Not only did Cuomo claim last Friday that our county had a problem with the virus, he singled out Buffalo and Rochester and spoke to their local leaders before coming up with the plan that they have now. Onondaga County has set multiple records of new cases in the last two weeks, which has confirmed a total of 149 new cases. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, now we're going to take a look at those new record high temps with Grayson. Today it will be sunny with a high of 77 degrees, so we broke the record of 74, and a low of 59 degrees, so it's another good day to be outside before it gets too cold. Wednesday, it's Veterans Day, so we don't have school, and we will have some showers with a high of 70 degrees and a low of 44 degrees. Thursday and Friday will be similar with a high of 52 degrees and 54 degrees, oh sorry, with a high of 52 and 54 degrees and a low of 34 and 37 degrees with sun and clouds. Saturday will go down into the high 40s with a low of 38, but Sunday will pick it right back up with a high of 57 and a low of 45 degrees with some rain. And Monday it will be a high of 52 and a low of 45 with some rain. I'm Grayson with your weather. Now, on to your sports with Luke. The field hockey team lost 5-0 five, five against CNS last night. The girls' soccer team, however, beat Central Square 1-0. The goal was scored by Leo Rem, assisted by Lena Polcaro. Jim Beheim is being sued by the family of George Jimenez for the 2019 car crash that struck and killed Jimenez on 690. In, two, in, 20, in 2019, the incident was ruled a tragic accident after a police investigation, and no charges were filed. The 2020 lawsuit by Jimenez's family claims that 
Beheim is responsible for George's death because he was traveling at a high rate of speed and or was otherwise neglect, n negligent in this operation of a vehicle. The New England Patriots beat the New York Jets last night 30-27. to Jets backup quarterback Joe Flacco threw for 262 yards and three touchdowns. He also passed legendary quarterback Joe Montana for 20th in all-time passing yards. On the Patriots side, quarterback Cam Noon had two rushing touchdowns and kicker Nick Folk made the game-winning 51-yard field goal. In upcoming games, the boys' soccer team plays Central Square at home. The game will be broadcasted live on WESM YouTube page. Make sure to tune in. And I'm Luke with your sports. All right, and that's all the time we have for today. So from Aiden, myself, and everyone here at Spartan News, have a have great, a great day. day.